Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Lost Thunder Pokemon booster box. I'll be opening up 36 booster packs on the online TCG. So this video is geared towards the competitive player and the 2019 standard format. Of course, in each and every booster pack that you buy in real life, you get a code card. I have redeemed several code cards from Lost Thunder, and I'll be opening up a booster box's worth of codes in this video. Now, in my actual opening videos on my channel, I give away all of those codes, but lots of my subscribers actually send me their codes from their openings because they do not play the online TCG. I highly recommend playing the online game not only for deck building, but for a great way to learn the competitive scene. Okay, so I'm on the online TCG now, and I'll get the Lost Thunder booster packs opened up. Now, this is the second newest Sun and Moon series set, official release date, November 2nd, 2018. With 236 total cards in the set, it is the largest set of all time, so lots of great cards to pull for the competitive scene and as a competitive player i am a big fan of large sets like this one as a collector it gets very expensive to actually complete a set that large so let's get to the opening here start it off cards i'm hoping for most would be blacephalon gx or alolan ninetales gx professor elm's lecture wouldn't be bad lost blender of course, Lost March is an archetype very popular from this set. Two cannon there. I'm just going to quickly go through the packs, pointing out better cards if I'm able to pull any. Well, there we go. I've actually had very good luck in real life with this card as well. Well, with Ninetales GX, this card is very good because of its ability, Mysterious Guidance. When you evolve Lolan Vulpix into this card, you can search your deck for two item cards. You can go and get something like B-String or Rare Candy and quickly evolve Stage 2 Pokemon or get some Ultra Beast powered up. Plus, if you are facing Ultra Beast, this card's GX attack is very good. So a great pull to start the opening. Only a couple of packs in. Let's see, a couple of Fairy Charm in a row there. And then a Dialga. Of course, I have completed this set in real life, Lost Thunder. Went to a pre-release for it as well. Electro Power is very good, especially with a lot of the team-up cards recently released. Pikachu, Zekrom, GX, Zapdos. There's a Lapras for the rare. Let's see, still not much in that reverse holo slot. There is a rare haul of Tapu Fini. Hopip there, the other Hopip's better. Trumbeak is very good for Lost March. Its ability allows you to just move it to the Lost Zone. Plus you may end up discarding one of your opponent's supporters. Reverse holo would be a Toxapex. And then the final card in the pack would be a Shedinja. Seven Prism Star cards in Lost Thunder. Could pull several from these 36 packs. Another Trumbeak there. There we go. There is a Celebi Prism Star. Ditto Prism Star is the one that I'd want most. And there's a Rabombi. This card has a decent ability on it. It says, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, Prevent all effects of that card done to your fairy type Pokemon in play. Next pack here. Reverse Hollow would be an Alolan Persian. And the rare would be a Tyranitar GX. One of 13 different regular GX in Lost Thunder. I haven't used this card much in competitive play. It is weak to fighting type Pokemon, which is a problem, especially with the resurgence of things like Lycanroc GX and Buzzwole GX to take down those lightning type decks. Meloetta there. Adventure Bag is useful. Jirachi combined with a skateboard, so that can go and get a skateboard. There is a look at the Professor Elm's lecture. 
a great way to get some of your basic Pokemon into your hand and onto your bench. And the final card here would be a Kofagrigus. Faba there, spell tag is very good. This tool card, if it is attached to a Pokemon that's knocked out, you get to do 40 damage to your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So I actually was facing a Giratina spell tag deck and I was using Lost Marsh against it and I attacked a Giratina with spell tag. It was able to just knock out a Natu. Final card in the pack would be a Cobalion. There's a net ball, very good for getting energy onto Jump Pluff. Reverse Hollow would be another Celebi Prism Star. And the final card would be a Wigglytuff. There's a Choice Helmet that is somewhat useful. And the final card would be a Tapu Fini. Skip Loom here has a great ability on it for Lost March. You can go and find Jump Pluff in your deck and then move Hop Hip and Skip Loom to the Lost Zone. Pokemon communication from Team Up is useful with this entire line. And the final card would be an Azumarill. Value wise on these cards, Lola Ninetales GX, the Rainbow Rare is the most valuable card in the lost thunder it is only worth about 35 dollars so i was able to pull the life forest prism star a great card for grass type decks i've seen it being used with celebi venusaur gx as well as shaman from this set so go on to the next pack here 20 more packs left should be pulling some good cards soon tapu lele so i have pulled lots of rare hollow cards out it seems like Electro Power again, and then a Cobalion, so another rare hollow. And I do believe these packs online really do not have any specified pull rates. Lost Blender, essential for Lost March. And the final card would be an Azumarill, meaning I could get runs of rare hollow cards like I've gotten. I could get three or four full art cards in a row. There's really no rhyme or reason on some of the pull rates, it seems like. And usually I do try and redeem the codes I get from my fans. And then what I do is trade those packs for cards I'm looking for when building decks. So Shuckle here, Fresh Squeezed. This can be used to get energy into your discard pile. And then Alolan Executor can do more damage for each different energy in your discard pile. There's another Professor Elms Lecture. Reverse Hollow, the Beautifly, and the Rare, there we go, would be a Morty Full Art. And I think this was the first Full Art Trainer that I pulled in real life from Lost Thunder. Several different Full Art Trainer cards in this set. Seven total, of course there's ten total in Team Up. There's a Slugma up there. Counter Gain is very useful. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to cost one colorless energy less. Reverse Hollow here would be a Moltres, a good looking rare Reverse Hollow. And the final card would be an Umbreon, my second favorite Eevee Evolution. Next pack, wouldn't mind pulling a Naganoddle out. Nothing so far in this pack, and then a Smeargle. Getting down there on packs to open up about a third left of the box. Grove Island wouldn't be a bad pull as well. That has a great ability on it. Trico up top there. And there is the Moltres I just pulled in reverse solo form. So not the greatest of 36 booster pack openings so far. There's a Heat Factory. Very useful in Blacephalon decks or really any fire type deck. A great way to get additional energy into your hand. It really works out well with the Blacephalon GX Naganoddle because you discard a fire energy and then you just get it back into play 
with the Naganadal. And the final card would be a Bear Tick. Prism Star cards are pretty easy to pull in Lost Thunder, or much easier to pull than in Team Up. There's the Grove I was talking about, Sunshine Grace. Its ability allows you to search your deck for a grass type Pokemon. Reverse Solo would be a Shedinja. And the final card would be another Umbreon. Let's see what happens in this pack. There's Natu, one of the two primary attackers in Lost March. Reverse Solo would be a Cobalion. And then the final card would be a Luya GX. So very happy with that Alolan Ninetales GX pull. I may have to try and build some more decks with Alolan Ninetales GX. Pyroar for the Reverse Solo, and the final card would be another Bear Tick. I think about eight more packs left after this one. There's Shucklin, Spell Tag, a couple of good cards, and the final card would be a Suicune GX. Take a look at this card. I have not used this card much in competitive play before. This pack, another counter game. Unknown. Several different unknown in this set. And the final card would be a Wigglytuff. Hopefully I don't get carried away here and just start opening more packs than the 36. Final card would be a Tangrowth. There's another counter game. Entei, Rare Reverse Solo. Granbull also wouldn't be bad. And then a Kofor Grigus. Granbull can do 160 damage for one Fairy Energy. You can then use Wondrous Labyrinth, Prism Star, to actually hurt your opponent more. This is one of the better packs I've opened up so far. So Thunder Mountain Prism Star, which is essential in a lot of these newer lightning type decks coming from Team Up. It reduces the number of energy you need to attack. And then Sceptile GX. I like Mock Cut, as the name implies, it can attack quickly. Plus it removes a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And then you can also combine it with another Sceptile out there to really hurt Ultra Beasts. Three more packs left after this one. The pulls started to heat up towards the end here. A lot of rare hollow pulls. And of course I really won't be able to summarize the pulls because I've had so many Lost Thunder cards in my collection in the past. Seb Strike Up Sprint on here is a great ability. Once during your turn you may... Discard your hand and draw four cards. That card is almost a happy medium between Octillery from Breakthrough, I believe, and then Oranguru from Sun and Moon Base Set. There's a Shuckle. Reverse Hollow would be an unknown. And then the final card would be a Steelix. So last pack here in this 36 booster pack opening of Lost Thunder. I do plan on doing this for other sets out there. I've already done it for Team Up and now Lost Thunder. Final card would be a Meloetta. So out of the entire 36 packs that I've opened up in this video, off to a pretty great start. What was that? The second pack in pulled that Alolan Ninetales GX. Other than that, not anything too great when it comes to that rare spot. I did pull out several Prism Star cards. I really liked the... Thunder Mountain probably best and then I did pull lots of supporter and trainer cards that are very useful in the competitive scene So that really concludes this video Thanks everyone for watching as always before you go Make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video including links to my blog Facebook and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you